Tonight, history will be made. On this night, masked figures and demons walk the streets. On this night, darkness covers all. On this night, two wars will conclude. A man's world who has gone black versus a man who has taken control. One man ridden of opportunities versus one man who is the ultimate opportunist. Every man looking for light in the tunnel. But on this night, there's a blackout. And now, Walk Out Where Toys presents MDT Blackout. What is good everyone and welcome live to the very first pay-per-view in our history, MDT Blackout. We hope you're having a wonderful Halloween night, but I think it's about to get a little bit better here as we have an exciting night of action here for our very first pay-per-view. I'm Trey and I'm here with my brother as always as your commentary team for tonight's action. So excited, we have so many great matches on this card, two main events on the card here tonight. The MDT Championship and Elite Championships are both on the line. Here's our first main event of the night. We have the MDT Championship match between Edge and Randy Orton in a no disqualification match. Should be very intense. You know, Edge won the ladder match on MDT Live to become the first ever champion, and Randy Orton is his number one contender. And then, of course, for our main event tonight, we have the Elite Championship on the line in a no-holds-barred match between former Bullet Club leader Finn Balor and current Bullet Club leader Kenny Omega. It should just be an intense night of action, ready to go. Starting off things hot. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have a huge matchup here. Kane and Braun Strowman will start off the night here on Halloween night at Blackout. Making his way to the ring from parts unknown, weighing in 323 pounds, Kane! This one should no doubt be a huge, 
huge collision course here tonight. Kane and Braun Strowman going head to head. We had, you know, a little bit of a preview of it on Vindication on the Go Home Show for Blackout. And I got to say, this is probably going to be a hard hitting son of a gun. Making his way to the ring from North Carolina, weighing in 385 pounds, Braun Strowman! And here we go, the hardcore match starting already. Yeah, he's going straight under the ring, dragging up all kinds of weapons right here. You got chairs and steel trash can lids. Do not enter signs. He's got a guitar. Oh, my God. Uh-oh. Kane's got the guitar. Oh, oh Jesus God. Christ. He did not know that Kane grabbed the guitar. Wow, what a nice move by Kane. Uh, I guess he can see behind that mask because he definitely saw the guitar come and took advantage of it. Good God. Look at the strength of Strom as he lifts Kane's over. He's going to throw him over the top rope. Jesus Christ. That's a grown man. That, just two huge men going head to head right here as Kane looks to be out cold on the outside. And I spoke too oh soon. Oh, my God. I spoke too soon. He's, he's got his eyes set on Braun Strowman now as I think Braun Strowman made a mistake as he's on the air. Oh, oh, my goodness. Takes a dive off the apron. You got front row seats right here. Yeah, I'm a little bit afraid for our lives right now as Braun Strowman's strolling up the chairs. I think he's going to try to power slam Kane through the table. Oh, my God. Oh, uh, choke slam. Christ ah. almighty. Powerful slam there by Braun hey, hey. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's our table, Dick. My God, we're we're so close to the action right here. That I, am just a fr I do not want this man to come kill us. It looks like Braun Strowman's on the run. Now he's got more ideas in his head to put Kane through hell here on Halloween night. You know, this is probably the night that Kane's going to... Oh, oh, speaking of hell. <laughs> here he comes, Lord God. Braun Strowman doesn't even know that Kane's on his way. He's setting up some chairs on the uh, opening there to the stage ramp. And I no think, way. I think Kane's taking a climb. I don't top rope. Oh, my goodness. No. Jesus Christ, he took a dive. No. Oh. He just crushed those chairs. That steel trash can lid as well as Kane throws him into the skeletons there on the stage design. Body of corpses. All right, the kick there by Strowman fights Kane off. It looks like Kane is going to head backstage, trying to get away from Strowman here as he enters the backstage area, and Braun Strowman's on the chase now. Oh, goodness. Uh, Kane's nowhere to be found. What Braun looking for Kane around the... Oh, God, oh, look, look out. out. Oh, Jesus, big God. crash there as he throws a trap. Jesus! Good block it. Nice block there by Braun Strowman as Kane is now on the chase. And I th oh my God, Kane's got a bottle in his hand. Oh, look out. Jesus Christ, he's got, he probably got glass shorts all in his face. I guess Braun won't need a Halloween mask tonight as I think his face just got cut to shreds. As now I think Kane's going to attempt to put Braun Strowman in that storage. Yeah. Oh, oh, goodness gracious, on the skull. Oh, he's pissed. Oh my God, he picked him up. Jesus. Braun looking for the cover. Here's a ref is giving chase now. He's got the title in hand. Oh, ah. kick at it too. These men are going to tear the arena apart tonight. My God. Look at Kane. Jesus Christ. He's got him over his shoulders. Oh. Oh. Through the locker room door now. We have to get a new door to the locker Jesus. room. He crushed the door with Braun Strowman's body. Just both men tearing each other alive in this opening matchup. Oh, Strowman. He tricked Kane into giving in and oh, ah. through the locker room bench now. Oh, where is Braun Where's Strowman going? going? Where is Braun Strowman headed now? The ref is confused. He doesn't know where he's going. Kane's laid out in the locker room and Wait, now. Oh my God, he's got the. What is he going to do with the garage door? What is this? What he's dragging Kane up under the garage door? I think he's going to try to pin him up under oh, it. Oh wow. Oh, my God, that could crush Kane's ribs. The smartest thing he's ever done. He could crush his ribs with that door. That's oh, wow. it. That is it. Braun Strowman retains the Iron Man Championship. I think we may need to get our medical team out here for Kane as a ref opens the door. His, his ribs could be broken.
What is good, everybody? It's Trey from My Damn Toys, and I just wanted to give this quick sponsor out right here to walkoutwear.com. Go over there right now. Elite Series 54 is up for pre-order. If you use the promo code MDT, you will save 16% at checkout. Elite Series 55 is also up for pre-order with first time in the line, James Ellsworth, a heel Neville figure, and American Badass Undertaker is also in that set. And then Elite 56 is also up for pre-order with AJ Styles, Jack Gallagher, The Club, and Roman Reigns all over there at walkoutwear.com use that promo code free us shipping just the best place to buy your figures but now let's get back to the action Well, ladies and gentlemen, you saw that Shelton Benjamin has been attacked from behind violently. Uh, Eric Bischoff not being around is really hurting this brand. I mean, we're having attacks from behind. And now Dean Ambrose and Shelton Benjamin's match is canceled for tonight. He cannot compete, as stated by our medical staff. But, you know, the show must go on. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, the Shield did reform on episode two of MDT Live, and they immediately thrusted themselves into the World Tag Team title picture here as they are going to take on New Day after they violently assaulted them when they were facing the Dudleys uh, week two of MDT Live. Well, it looks like Dean Ambrose will not be competing tonight with the Shield. Hey, oh, my Jesus. God. The Shield are attacking the New Day as they make their way down the ramp as Roman Reigns attacking Big E. He hasn't even taken his title off his waist. And he's just waylaying on him, and Seth Rollins takes control of Kofi Kingston on the stage. What a dick. Irish whip into the stairs. Oh, oh. man. Roman Reigns showing his strength there, but... You know, you got to put each member of the opposite team through a table to win this matchup. Nobody's eliminated. You just got to put each member through a table to win the match. So that is the rules of this matchup. And whoever does that is going to walk out of here. Tag Team Champions. Ooh. Oh, oh. Nice. big boot there by Roman Reigns as Big E is just back in. Oh, my goodness. Spear to the yeah. outside to Big E by Roman Reigns as the big dog looking strong here in the opening. Oh, oh my God. Comfy. Wow. Oh, no, no. Wow, what a catch by Roman Reigns. He's going to try to put him through the table early here in this matchup. And oh, my God. Ah! Oh, it's Xavier yes! Woods. Xavier Woods saved his teammate Kofi Kingston from being eliminated. Beautiful. The veteranship of the tag team New Day showing there on that perfect execution by Xavier Woods coming out of nowhere as Big E is setting a table up in the corner as Roman Reigns, I think, is going to try to take advantage of it. Look out, Big E. Yeah. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Just to be clear, Roman Reigns is not, uh, that does not count. You have to put an offensive move in. So Roman Reigns cannot put himself Look through out. the table. Oh, close line there as he lands on the apron. Oh, oh. King's landing and, oh, Big oh, E. No. Big E is now, uh, uh, now he's out. Now all they have to do is put Kofi Kingston oh. through a table and they win the matchup. Can you imagine if this was a six-man tag team match with Dean Ambrose and Xavier Woods added to the matches? Kofi looking oh. for the drop kick there, but he missed. And now Seth Rollins on the outside. As Kofi is going to drag, Seth, he's going to drag Seth Rollins out of the thing, and now, oh man, Ooh. big right hand by him. As Roman Reigns is still laid out from that table, and these guys are trading ah. shots there. As he's going to put Kofi Kingston it's on dangerous. the table now, gives him an extra shot for good measure, and I think he's going to take a climb here on the vindication and now it's Spanish table. As I think he's going to look to end this matchup right now. No, it could be over right here. Ah. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Big E saves Kofi again. Wow. That's crazy. Great teamwork by New Day thus far in this matchup as they, they have saved their tag team gold twice now in this matchup. 
Now Kofi in the ring all alone, setting up a table, and here comes Reigns. Here comes Deucebag. Oh, wow, athleticism by Kofi Kings in the middle Look of the ring. This. Wow, Jesus Christ. Oh, my goodness. Oh, kick to the face That's there. Right. That's right. Nice super kick there by Kofi Kingston. Oh, my goodness. Seth. Wow, what a knee shot to Kofi there. As Seth always after Kofi here in this matchup. He's climbing up on the table. This oh, could no. do it. This could this could be the matchup right here. Seth Rollins going for the win. Oh, reverse. Oh, wow. DDT to Seth Rollins. And now it's one to one. Now it's down to Kofi and Roman Reigns. Whoever goes to a table first will be the loser. Oh, Biggie. Oh, Superman punched by Jesus. Roman Reigns. Two exciting matches to start the night here on MDT Blackout Halloween night. Just so excited. I'm so excited to be here tonight. But, oh, my God, Kofi Kingston on the apron. He jumps oh, on the shoulders. God. Oh, I thought, I thought he was going through the table there. Oh, oh. Kick, kick to Reigns. There's Kofi on the table. He jumps on the Reigns. Oh, my God. Oh, no. It's over. No. The shield of the new world tag team champions of MDT Live. Great teamwork shown from both teams in this matchup. You got hats off to New Day and the Shield in this matchup. And now every member of the Shield is holding gold on MDT Live. Life's not worth living. What is good, everybody? It is Trey from My Damn Toys. I hope you guys are having an amazing Halloween night and you are enjoying the show so far. If you are, please go hit that subscribe button so you will never miss an MDT wrestling show here and you will subscribe for more epic WWE and WWE figure related videos. But now let's get back to the action. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to MDT Blackout. We are set now for a revolutionary championship match between The Miz and Sami Zayn. You know this tension has been rising since the very first episode of Vindication with Ty Dillinger thrown in the mix. But it is not about Ty tonight, Brad. It is between The Miz and Sami Zayn. Well, Brad, Miz looks good here tonight. He's so confident in himself without his wife, his manager, to escort him to the ring here. I think he's feeling very confident here in this Revolutionary Championship match. I think you're right, Terry. The underdog from the underground looking very excited to be here tonight on the first ever MDT pay-per-view live on Halloween night. Very excited for this matchup between Sami Zayn and The Miz. Who do you have in this matchup? I got the underdog. Gotta go with Sami Zayn here, the experienced champion, first ever revolutionary champion, set to go head to head here. And these two have just been at it. They show a lot of you know pride in their matches here, and we are ready to go. Quick tie up here early in this matchup in the middle of the ring as he bounces into the ropes. Uh, Sami Zayn with the Irish whip. Nice shoulder block there by Miz as he is looking to go on the offensive side here. And you know these matches are all about building up your confidence. You want to stay on the offensive end. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. What a DDT there by Sami Zayn as he plants Miz into the ground. And it looks like he's putting him in the corner. He may, be looking oh. for a, he may go for a haluva kick early oh. here. As he's just trading shots there in the corner to the Miz. Fight back. Oh, he oh look out! Him, he kicks him out of the ring there, onto the ground outside. Oh, Sami Zayn needs to look out. Oh, baseball oh. slide there by the Miz. Kicks Sami Zayn to the ground, and we're fighting on the outside here. Oh, my God, what oh, a maneuver. Wow, what a maneuver there by Sami Zayn on the Miz. Very creative, using that table at ringside to go on the offensive side. Oh, goodness, look at Sami Zayn running around the outside. You Where's know what's going? coming next. You know where he's going. No way. Here he comes. Oh. Oh, through the freaking turnbuckle. Wow, what oh, a move. That's beautiful. 
Oh, he's taking no time to rest. He throws Miz. He may be looking for an early cover here in this matchup. Oh, oh, kick, out kick out there. Out. Kick out by oh, Miz. Oh, it's a chokehold. Oh, he's got the chokehold locked in on Sami Zayn. He could have him here. Get out of there, Sami. Oh, he's There's reaching the for the ropes. He's reaching for the ropes. Oh, oh he's he, he, esca he escapes. Oh, he's got Miz by the legs. Oh, wow. Oh, goodness. You know, the outside area of the ring is padded, but it does not protect your back. I promise you that, Brad. And Sami Zayn on the apron for now. Oh, my Miz goodness. going for the legs. Oh, goodness gracious. He takes him down, and here he comes. Oh, Boom. he slams his head into our announce table. You know, he may be knocked out conscious. This could do it. He could win the match right here. We could have a new revolutionary Over. champion. Oh, no. wow. Nice kick out by Sami Zayn there. Miz is now pissed off. Oh, wow. Oh, exploded. Explode into the corner. We may have a huluva kick coming right here. We, we may have a retain. Here comes Zayn. Oh, counter by the Miz. Oh, caught him. Oh, my God. He's going for the, off the, off the ropes. Oh, 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 wow. What a move by Miz. Oh, rolls over. Sammy rolls over. He does not get the cover. But I think he's still feeling the pressure of it. He just escaped the pinfall there. Oh, Ooh. drop kick to Sammy's skull. As Miz is chilling, he takes an eye at the Revolutionary Championship. And I, I tell you, he's hungry for that title. He is hungry for that title. I think he wants it more than anything in the world here. Sami Zayn attempting to get up here. Oh, my God, he's looking for Skull Crusher Finale. Sami fighting. Oh he's, oh, he's fighting him. He lifts him up in the air. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Blue Thunder Bomb. Oh. Oh, oh my. We, do, we have a new Revolutionary Champion, the Miz. I told you he was hungry, Brad. I told you he is he's got it in his eyes. He is he I think he's gonna be a great champion for the revolutionary title, but I know Sami Zayn will be back for him. I just feel bad for Sam. Yeah, Sami Zayn, you know he's gonna be back for his title, but congratulations to the Miz. What's up, guys? It is Trey from My Damn Toys, and I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. Go follow our Instagram page at My Damn Toys. It is on the screen right there. We post awesome customs all the time. We do a custom original Finn Balor each month, so go check us out and follow us, and let's get back to the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't have enough hardcore action for tonight, we are still set for an Extreme Rules match next for the Extreme Championship between RVD and Sandman. Rob Van Dam, always a fan favorite here on MDT Live. As you see the weapons scattered across the arena here, we have an Extreme Rules match for the one and only Extreme Championship that is on the line 24-7. Ronald Van Donald, ready to go. Well, Brad, you know Sandman is an assassin, and when it comes to hardcore championship matches like this, you know, he brings that kendo stick ready to go. That man's probably going to be drunk when he gets to the ring, this but, you know. drunk and lunatic. My God, him, there he is. The, look at him making his way through the crowd, and I don't know how he just doesn't bust his own. Jesus Christ. This man's a monster. He's already busted open, and the match hasn't even started yet. Making his way to the ring from Philadelphia, Weighing in at 240 pounds, the Sandman! On the Go Home Show for MDT Live, you remember Sandman came up to RVD and told him he was coming for him. He's going to get his best here in this matchup, and I know that RVD will always bring it. You know, he beat Rhino to secure his second Extreme Championship as he looks to retain here tonight. 
And it looks like we are ready to go. And oh, nice kick there, RVD. And then another kick there. And kicks Sam into the corner. And RVD quick on the offense now. I think it's a case of RVD trying to get to Sandman before Sandman can get to him because he knows that he's a violent assault. Oh, wow, baseball slide by Sandman. Exactly what I was talking about. He's quick on his feet. He may be a big man, but he will take you down with his speed here. He's got the chair. And, oh, my goodness, Van Damme. Oh. Van Damminator to Sandman already. Wow, what a nice move there by RVD with his clever offense. Oh, my, he's eyeing the ladder. Of course he is. RVD making a climb here. Sandman gets back to his feet here on the outside. He looks up and oh my god, here comes RVD. Oh, he catches him. Oh my him. god. Oh, wow, what a smag. My legs are small. Beautiful counter there by Sandman. My god, he loaded him up on his shoulders, caught RVD off guard, and bam, right through the table with weapons on it, I might add. And just crashing noise here. Oh my god, he's got a chain. This man's a monster. He's He may be about to choke the life. Out of Rob Van Dam here on the outside is oh my goodness he's putting it around the neck oh my god and there's no rules in this match and I can only imagine choking the life out of RVD Don't here. Don't stop him! Jesus Christ! What do you do with an assassin like Sandman? RVD is literally just out cold on the outside there. The Sandman walks around. Looks like he's going to grab the trash can here. It looks like he's going to take the trash out. Oh, just RVD on his knees, begging for mercy. Oh, oh my goodness gracious, alive. What a kick to the skull there by Sandman. RVD's head inside that trash can. I think RVD's going to have to use some more of his offensive creativity. That way he can spare himself in this matchup. Because if he takes too many bumps, you know, he may be out. Like, Sandman could easily win this matchup if he keeps unloading weapons. And, oh, he's taking a beer break. Take a drink. He's taking a drink in the middle of the match. My God. Give me one. Oh my, he's on the line. Oh, wow. Oh, nice reversal there by RVD. Oh. He ducks out of the way and kicks Sandman on the table. What you get for drinking on the job? Oh my God, RVD's making a climb, and I think he's going to go for an opportunity here. Oh my God. There he goes. Oh my oh. God. Jesus Christ. Frog splash to the outside on Sandman on that table. There must be something about Halloween night, Brad, because I swear to God, guys have just been tearing each other apart in this arena tonight. You're right. Extreme championship on the line in this extreme rules match, and I think RVD is just thinking to himself, what has he got to do to put this match away and retain his extreme championship? Is Sandman looking to get back to his feet now as RVD is across the arena? picking up some other weapons under the ring. What is he going for here? He's got a ladder now. A tall ladder at that. I think that's the 25-footer there. So he slides it into the ring. And RVD moving the table now. So he's got some more ideas in his head for offense. And oh, my oh, goodness. No. From behind, Sandman with a chair. And oh, he's going to throw RVD back into the ring. Sandman looking to take more advantage of RVD with those weapons. You know, Sandman had his kendo stick taken away from him early in the matchup, but now he's got it. You know he's going to be looking for that white Russian leg sweep there as he uses it to choke RVD. He lands that. It's got to be over. It's got to be over. He lands it. Oh, he reverses by RVD. He takes a springboard drop Look kick. Out. Oh, wow. He kicks Sandman onto the ladder. Ooh. Oh, my God. I think he's going to take an opportunity here as he's sliding him in place. I think no he's way. Gonna, I think he's going to make it climb. We may be looking at a rock splash. Oh my goodness! Jesus. Go for the cover! And that yes. does it! RVD retains the Extreme Championship! And the respect shown there between both men who put their bodies on the line tonight. Just, that's a true class right there by Sandman and RVD.
Exciting news for MDT Light as Jeff Hardy is coming soon. But we have to turn our attention to our first main event of the night, Brad. We have our MDT Championship on the line in this no disqualification matchup. As everyone knows, Randy Orton kicked our GM's head off the other night on MDT Live. As we send our thoughts and prayers to Eric Bischoff, who I'm sure has a broken neck. Not sure how long he's going to be out. Hope for, hope for a very, very speedy recovery for Eric Bischoff. You think you know me? There he is, the very first MDT champion, Edge, set for his first title defense here against Randy Orton on MDT Blackout. Well, Brad, here we go. We are off MDT Championship on the line here as both men lock up in the middle of the ring here. As both men are very, very meticulous in the ring. Uh, very, very good. Very contrasting styles. I think this match is probably going to be a very good classic here as both men are very strong in multiple areas in and out of the ring. Absolutely. It looks like Edge gets the first uh, offensive opportunity there with a shoulder block as Edge is just eyeing Randy Orton, telling him that you do not know what you got yourself into. The ultimate opportunist taking on a man who thinks that he gets zero opportunities, which I don't think is true. I think Randy Orton is a bit psychotic. He's been given a raw deal since he got here. Yeah, I, I don't know where he's coming from, but that man is psychotic as both men circling each other in the middle of the ring now. And they lock up again here. Both men trying to take on the advantage. Both men still chain wrestling here, trying to take on the advantage here. It's an Irish whip. Oh, he's got the he's got the wrist locked here. Randy Orton locking up the wrist of Edge. Going to break that uh, arm. Oh, he reverses it here. Is Edge now on the control, trying to gain advantage here? As he's now Edge has the advantage here in the middle of the ring. And Randy Orton. Trying to get back on the offense here as Edge puts Randy in a headlock and he's backing him up into the ropes. And we have another Irish whip here as he throws him into the ropes. Edge coming back now here. It's as if both men trying to fill each other out here in this matchup. And, oh, nice athleticism by Randy Orton as he turns around. Oh, nice shoulder block there by Edge as Randy Orton seems a bit frustrated. Maybe he seems that he cannot get the advantage here on Edge in this matchup. Maybe Edge is better than he thought as it looks like Randy's going to collect himself in the corner there. After multiple shoulder blocks, you think that, uh, you know, I think Edge is going to try to run the stamina of Randy Orton in this matchup. Both men, again, filling each other out. Oh, and a good knee strike there by Randy Orton as he takes advantage. And another strike to Edge's back sends him to his knees as Randy Orton now getting on the offensive side. Here's another kick to that lower back area of Edge. And he's dragging him up here as we have another headlock tie-up by Randy Orton. Trying to, I think this is more of a mentality. Randy Orton's trying to set in on edge. Trying to get that, you know, strong mental game. Trying to he take control. Dominance. Yeah, he's trying to get into Edge's head here. As I think that's the same thing for Edge here as they keep trading blows. And, oh, Ooh. nice takedown there as he's got Randy in a chokehold now in the middle of the ring. You know, I th if Randy could be out right here. He could cinch in that headlock. No, and never. He can, the Viper will find a way. They stand up back onto their feet here. Randy Orton trying to get back on the offense. Throws Edge back in. And another shoulder block here. As I, I feel, oh, and another no. shoulder block. 
Goodness gracious, you know. Another him. one. He's trying to wear. He's wearing out Randy Orton right now. Oh, and the nice jump at Randy is there. Is he? I think he's going to take a break on the outside, Brad. I think he's already out of breath in this matchup. So Randy collecting his thoughts on the outside of the ring. Randy's not having any of it here from Edge. He's going to take a stroll around the ring. Edge is obviously cheating. That's what's going on here. You think Edge is cheating here? Absolutely. The Viper, the Viper is better than that. Yeah, he's not looking well here as he's fighting with the ref and get back inside of the ring here. Edge is not going to have it. He's going to go after Randy Orton. Oh, my good. Slams his Ooh. face there on the apron. Like I said, cheating. Yeah, I think Edge is trying to tell Randy Orton that you are not going to have it as easy as you thought you would have it here. And throwing him back inside of the ring here as he rolls into the middle and Edge still giving chase to Randy Orton. And Randy Orton resting again. I swear, I, I don't think he was in good shape for this matchup here. I don't think Randy Orton would want to admit it, but I don't think he was fully prepared for this matchup here tonight. It's, oh my goodness, he's going to throw Edge oh! over the top there. And wow, that allows Randy Orton to catch some well-needed rest uh, as Edge tries to collect himself on the outside as he took a hard bump there on the outside. So Randy Orton still trying to collect his thoughts, probably trying to catch his breath. I swear to God, the man just isn't looking good right now as he's had to get up on his feet and get back down He's coming lot. back. Oh, slams Edge's face there on the apron here. As Randy Orton trying to build up his own momentum here as he's grabbing the hair of Edge and yanking him up on top of that apron. Wow, wow. Jesus. I know that's got to hurt the head. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Suplex there into the ring by Randy Orton here as he's spilling himself now. He may be getting pumped up. Oh, nice uppercut there. This is the Edge. Viper right here. Oh, I think he's definitely on the comeback here as he's choking out Edge on those ropes. Goodness gracious, you know that's got to do some damage there on the neck as Randy Orton now is a certain some dominance to Edge as he's stomping a mud hole in him, Stone Cold Steve Austin style. As Edge, is, Edge looks like the hopeless one now in this matchup. As, oh, my goodness, and he's going to take some Sheamus Ooh. strikes. To Edge's chest area, goodness gracious. Ooh. Two vicious shots to Edge as he drops down to the corner there. And oh, look at Randy Orton taunting his opponent here in the middle of the ring. And he this is the first time he's done anything in the matchup. That, oh, oh God. Smarting off to the referee. The referee does not want this video. He should have kept his mouth shut. I, apparently so. I wouldn't want to fight with the Viper. I can tell you that. And as he locks in the headlock here. This is definitely the most calm matchup we've had here all night. You got the professionals, Randy Orton and Edge, going head to head here in the ring for the MDT Championship. And, uh, you know, it's been hectic here at Blackout all night on Halloween night. Oh, nice clothesline there by Edge. But, yes, I, I just felt we started out with Braun and Kane. And, oh, another clothesline there by Edge. And then we had multiple, just multiple clotheslines by Edge here as Randy, again, just that stamina is wearing him out right here. Oh, nice stop there by Randy Orton as he stops Edge. And, oh, clothesline over the top rope there as Randy Orton falls to the outside. And both men, again, trying to collect themselves as they have done a number on each other. I know it hasn't been the most high-flying matchup, but they have definitely done it. you got two it. workers working. Yeah, they're definitely doing work on each other back and forth here in this matchup as it looks like Randy Orton is going after the MDT Championship. I don't know what his plans are here with the title in his hand, but that he is He's not going to... Oh, oh wow. wow. Baseball slide to the sternum there by Edge. You know that title belt has to hurt. You know, it weighs probably 25 pounds there. Straight to the sternum of Randy Orton now as he's trying to get back up on his feet out in front of our station here at ringside. And here comes Edge. Oh, oh. my goodness. Clothesline off the apron here as the match is starting to pick up some momentum as we go into the later stages. Edge now trying to take control of this matchup as he picks Randy Orton back up, puts him back into the ring here. And I think Edge is going to take a climb here. What is Edge thinking? The ultimate opportunist looking for an opportunity here. As Randy gets back to his feet looking for Edge. Here he Watch comes. Out. Off the turnbuckle missile drop kick. Oh. Wow. Jesus Christ. He took a shot there. I think Edge may be going for a pinfall here. He retained the title. Ah, oh, kick oh, out there. Near fall. near fall there for Randy Orton as Edge thought he had him there with that strong missile drop kick off the turnbuckle there as Randy Orton is crawling himself to the corner and I think Edge may be looking for the spear looking for the spear and maybe trying to put him away right here look out Randy oh wow nice reversal there as he knees him straight into the stomach of Edge and I think Randy's going to climb up onto the turnbuckle here as he may be looking for that 
clutch hammer there to the top. Oh, oh. wow, what a drop kick mid-air to Edge. Both men down. Wow, what a nice reversal there by Edge. Heads up move there with that drop kick. Two back-to-back -to -back drop kicks by Edge has laid Randy Orton out here. And if this were a last man standing match, it may be a draw as both men trying to get back to their feet here as I think Edge is going to take another opportunity off the top rope. Oh, my God, cross body. Cross body. He's got him in the cover. Oh, oh he rolls him up. over. He rolls him over. Oh, kick out by Edge. Good Damn. Jesus. That could have been yeah, That could have been a steal right there for Randy Orton. He could have really won the match right there. Oh, goodness, Randy Orton in the corner. Oh, my God, Edge from behind clotheslines him. Oh, a duck by Randy Orton lifts him up in the air. Ooh. Oh, he smashes his face off the turnbuckle. Oh, my God, he's going oh, for the wow. pin. He's cheating. Oh, damn it. Oh, my goodness. That was a close kick out there by Edge. He is very, very fortunate to get out. What kick did out Randy right do? There. I thought Randy had him right there with the feet on the... Oh, my goodness. He's looking for the RKO now. Yes. Yes. The Viper looking to strike Edge here as he's prepping for the RKO. Here, here he goes. It is. Oh, he shoves oh, no. him up. Reversed by Edge. He's looking for the spear now. He's looking for the... Oh, he Look jumps him. Whoa. Jesus Christ. My God. Both men go back and forth. I think he's looking for the there RKO. Oh, he reverses into a roll-up. No. Oh, he kicks oh, out there. God. My God. Both men trading blows here as Edge and Randy Orton both wondering what can these men do here. There's a shot there by Randy Orton. And it looks like he's going for the Irish whip. Oh, he reverses Randy Orton into the corner, smashes his face into the turnbuckle. There's a oh. spear. There's the spear. He's going for the cover. Oh, he retains the title, Edge. Very nice there by Edge to retain his MDT championship. What's up, guys? I hope you guys are enjoying the show so far. If you will, please leave us a review in the comment section below. Leave us a long one. I love how uh, I get some long, in-depth reviews. It really helps out the show a lot, good or bad, constructive criticism. We always enjoy anything that you guys have to say. Leave your favorite matches, your favorite spots, whatever you enjoyed from this video down below. Um, I will be featuring the longer reviews in a future video, so please do us a favor and do that for us. But have a happy Halloween, and let's enjoy the rest of the show. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have two matches here remaining, and this first one is a non-title tag match between the just ensuing tensions building between the Wyatt family and the Revival over the ensuing weeks. We have had multiple confrontations between them. Uh, the Revival just wanting to know what is going on with the Wyatt family. So I guess here tonight we set to see if the Revival can shut up the Wyatt family.
What in the hell is Bray Wyatt talking about? Oh my god! Oh my god! All the recruits, all the recruits are in the ring right there behind the revival. My god, this is just this is just a lot. Oh my they're way outnumbered, Brad. This is gonna be Look ugly. Out. Jesus Christ are assaulting the revival. The revival are getting assaulted by the recruits of the Wyatt family here. He, oh my god, he's choking him out with the towel. Jesus, the tag team champions are getting beat down here. Oh! Bro kick there by Sheamus, it looks like, under that sheet mask. And he continues to be choked out by that towel. Good Lord mighty, He may be out cold with that knockout. Oh, my God. Brutal elbow. By Big Cass there. As they have, it looks like these guys have found their place. They've brainwashed by the Wyatt family. Cole. It is time for our main event here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the Elite Championship is on the line as Finn Balor will defend his Elite Championship versus the now new leader of Bullet Club, Kenny Omega, here tonight as Kenny Omega makes his way to the ring here. I don't trust the Bullet Club not to be involved here in this matchup here tonight. You're right. You never know. I just do not trust Kenny Omega. I don't trust anything they have. Since day one when they attacked Shinsuke Nakamura, Kevin Owens, and Cesaro, I don't trust anything that any of them say. The champ is here. Finn Balor arriving here to the ring. As you know, he is laser focused, Brad. No games are being played. He is here to avenge himself after being violently assaulted on vindication. His own club. His own club assaulted him. Young Bucks, two super kicks to his skull. And here we are in this matchup. It should be a very exciting one between both athletic Kitty Omega and Finn Balor. And here we go in this matchup as Finn is... Oh, Kenny, start oh, see, see, this is what I was talking about right here. I don't trust any of them. Kenny Omega assaulting Finn Balor for the match. Even starts... You don't control the bail. You don't tell the ref when to ring the bail. Look at this. My God. Kenny Omega already on the offense here on oh. Finn Balor. Oh, my God. They're trading oh. blows. They're trading shots. This is just that violent 
animosity that's been building up between the two over the past few weeks on vindication. Oh, nice oh. kick there to the sternum by Kitty Omega as he looks for the legs. Oh, oh wow. wow. Oh, and a nice reversal oh, there by Kitty. Very nice by Kitty Omega and Finn Balor going back and forth, trading shots here as both of them circling each other. Slap there to the Thank chest you. by Finn Balor to Kitty Omega. And these guys are like shot straight out of a cannon. You can see the contrasting styles between, Whoa. you know, you know, Randy Orton and Edge, and then this match. You can tell, just you know what I'm saying. The, good lord, these guys are not even enough. This is definitely a different style than we have seen in the last few. Uh, just crazy athleticism by both of these men. Oh, of course, gross suicide died there by Kitty Omega to the outside, flattening Finn Balor. Both of these men are just straight out of a cannon early here in this matchup as he rolls Finn back into the ring. Uh, both of these men feel that they should be the leader of Bullet Club, and here they go here. Oh, as, oh very nice move there. Oh, Kenny Omega looking for the cover here. Ah, oh, quick kick out there by Finn Balor. Isn't even phasing him here as Kenny Omega. Oh, very nice standing shooting star press. Looking for another cover and another one count there. Kicks out by Finn Balor. And, yeah, both of these men are just straight out of a can. I cannot say it enough that these guys are just on the attack 100% in this matchup, not slowing down, not showing any mercy towards the Ooh. others. There's another kick there to Finn Balor. Brutal kick. Very nice by Kenny Omega here. As, you know, this match is no holds bar, so anything goes in this matchup. It's nice chops there by Kenny Omega in the corner. Coming back. Uh, very nice strike there by Finn Balor. Another strike by Finn Balor. And another. Another strike by Finn Balor. Oh, and here comes Kenny Omega straight back as he knocks him to the ground. Is Kenny Omega stronger than Finn Balor? Absolutely not. I think he may have him, Brad. You know, very nice muscle tone there. Very strong. Oh, there you go. You can't put him away. Nice kick there by Finn Balor to Kenny Omega trying to get back the momentum here in this matchup. as another chop, and he's on the offense here. Oh, oh the trigger. Jesus Christ, it could be over. Kick out there, there by Finn Balor. Wow. He caught him out of nowhere with that V-trigger. My God, he could have knocked him out cold. And Kenny Omega thinking to himself, what's he got to do here in this matchup to get the W and win the Elite Championship? In a choke hole. Very nice now, trying to slow the tempo Come down. Come on, Finn. There it is. There's the rope. He got the rope break there in the corner. Kenny Omega, he says, screw that. This isn't supposed to be any rope breaks in this matchup. He's looking for the one-winged angel. Oh, nice reversal there we by go. Finn there Balor. We go. I thought he was going for the roll up there, but no. He still got him in the back. Pushes him into the ropes here. Oh, drop, drop kick. kick. Nice knocks Kenny Omega out of the ring and Come onto on, the Finn. apron. My God, he's trying to fire himself up Oh, no, look out. Oh, my God, he could have tore his ACL there as he takes out his knee. Jesus Christ. What a nice move there by Kenny Omega, as dangerous as that was. As Finn Balor's on pursuit now to the outside. Oh, my God, here comes. Look out. Oh, wow, what a move by Kenny Omega as he takes Finn Balor out to the outside. These men are just at each other's throats here in this matchup. Oh. Bouncing his face off the barricade there and into the other barricade. My God, it's Kenny Omega is going backstage. I don't know where he thinks he's going here, but oh my God, oh. he's got a chair and a ladder. Oh. Jesus Christ, into the sternum of Finn Balor now as Kenny Omega sets up the ladder and he's taking flight off the ladder. Oh my goodness gracious. A moonsault off the ladder takes out Finn Balor to the outside. Both men showcasing their athleticism in this matchup, showing that they proved to be the elite champion. Kenny going for a table. Kenny Omega is setting up the table on the outside. It's Finn Balor on the apron now. It's Kenny not letting him escape oh, as no. he is dragging him off. Oh, my God, he may be looking to there put him on the table. Reversal by Ooh. Finn Balor. Jesus Christ, suplex to the outside there. And Kenny Omega may be out and landed on his neck. He could be out cold here as Finn should put him back in the ring and go for that pinfall and retain the title. Getting up. Come on, Finn. Oh, a nice strike there by Finn Balor. Loading him up on the table. My God, we could be looking. Oh, he may be putting Kenny Omega through the table Come here. Come on, Finn. Here comes Finn Balor lining up with Kenny Omega. Here he comes off the apron. Oh, oh my God, double stomp through the table there by Finn Balor. My God, if this were a table match, he would be, he'd retain his championship here. Finn Balor definitely feeling the repercussions of his decision to jump through that table. You know, it's not a clean landing. It's sort of awkward when you jump off that apron through a table with the double stomp. Both men looking to get back into the ring here. Spin Balor's to the outside. He may be looking for that double stomp in the back of... Oh, oh my God. Is. Got the double stomp there on Kenny Omega. 
as Finn Balor looking to put Kenny Omega away here in this matchup. Oh, look at that kick. Oh, he missed. Oh, Pele uh, kick there by Kenny Omega. Very nice. Damn it. Very, very nice moves here by both men. Oh, no, look Lord. out. Oh, he's looking for the one wing angel. Come on, Finn. My God, he, he escapes. Yes. Pele kick, nice. Very nice overhead kick there by Finn Balor. As he's, oh, oh no. he missed. Oh my God, oh, he, loaded, damn it. he loaded him back up. Oh, he got out. Oh, he, oh my God. Oh. Bloody, Bloody Sunday. Sunday. Finn Balor looking for the on, cover Finn. here. Oh my, oh my God, God. No. It's the Young it's Bucks. It's the Sam Bullet Club. It's the Bullet. I freaking knew it. I knew this one. Jesus damn Christ, it. what a chair shot from Matt Jackson. Finn Balor's out cold. There's nothing he can do. Best, get on for take. Get. Oh my goodness gracious alive. I think this match has got to be over. Somebody's got to get out here and help damn this it. man. My God, Cody Rhodes. No. Oh, my God. No, not no. the table. No. Jesus Christ. But, ladies and gentlemen, we, we have just... The Bullet Club is invading. Oh God. God. Puts Finn Balor through another... Oh, my... Oh, no. Matt Jackson off Jesus. the top. Jesus Christ. My God. They got Kenny up. Kenny is... Kenny's the new elite champion. No. This is, this is it. This is it. It's all over. Oh! It is over. That is going to do it. This is sickening. Damn the Bullet Club. Ladies and gentlemen, without Shane McMahon, oh my God. They're bringing a, they're, oh the, my God. There is a coffin. The Bullet Club have brought a coffin out. What are they gonna do with the coffin? They're, they are going to literally bury Finn Balor. They're putting Finn Balor into the coffin. My God, this is just sickening. This is sickening. Your new elite champion, Kenny Omega, is going to, he is going to put Finn Balor away for good. They are loading him up, Brad. Adam Cole dipping Finn Balor. There he goes. Jesus. Off the apron into the casket. My God. And they are closing him up. Somebody get out here and stop this madness. This is awful. This is sickening. Bullet Club. Everyone have a safe Halloween night. <laughs>